Hello. I know it's been a while. It's been, what, what has it been, like three weeks, I think? No, I think it's been about two weeks. Two weeks since the Bad Batch finale happened, and Dave Filoni killed us all. Um, but it took me like a week to do the drawing, and then like another week to actually record the audio, because I'm really bad at recording audio, because college is kicking my ass, and also I have a roommate, and so, you know, all that. But I, I, have, I have made a tech drawing, and I drew tech, and I'm actually really proud of it. And so I'm going to rant for like 13 minutes about why I think he is or isn't dead um, based off while, while this drawing plays in the background. One thing I learned, I could turn it up to 3,000% speed, which I think is pretty neat. 3,000, that's a lot of speed. And I'm surprised my computer could handle it, but it did just fine and actually doesn't look too bad. At least I don't think so. If you think so, then you can judge me. Um, but basically, so Dave Filoni, right? I, I've heard a lot of theories about, about or like not necessarily theories, but like people saying like, you know, or like, you know, just stuff depicting tech as the winter soldier, right? With like the metal arm and oh, he fell into it, you know, patch of snow and he's going to come back as a winter soldier. But, but, but the thing that scares me about that is that they already kind of did that with Echo. Like, literally did that with Echo. Like he ex went, exploded, was thought to be dead. You know, everyone had kind of moved on. And then Dave Filoni kind of came back and was like, hey, look. It's Echo, emotionally traumatized, working for the other side, metal frickin' arm, and like, you know, enhanced cybernetics and stuff, and like, mind control stuff. And so, I don't think, like, I don't think Dave Filoni, I, I have the faith that Dave Filoni is not lazy enough to do the exact same thing with Tech. I don't think he's gonna. Um, but at the same time, this is Dave Filoni, and so what I say is that there's like a 75%, 75% chance, like 75, 75% chance that uh, he is either dead or alive. And I know that that totals up to about 150, but you know, this is Dave Filoni we're talking about. He will ruin us emotionally, scar us. And then, you know, he just has the audacity to do that. And I think that that's not cool, man. Come on. Also the Mandalorian finale, because obviously this is recorded after even that, which was like two weeks after the Bad Batch finale. But like the Mandalorian finale, I thought was really sweet. And, and I, I think, I think, we finally deserve a happy ending in Star Wars, and I don't even think that's the end of The Mandalorian, to be honest. Like, I know I'm talking about The Mandalorian, I was just talking about tech, but I got like 10 minutes, so. Um, like, I don't think it's the end of The Mandalorian, but like, okay, I'm really happy that they didn't actually bring in Thrawn, or like some bigger threat, because like, you know, if they had just brought in Thrawn, or like just set up Thrawn in the finale, and like that's kind of what the purpose is, then the whole feeling, the whole season would just feel like a waste, like, you know, it was just some ploy to set up for the Ahsoka show, which I'm not necessarily opposed to because I can't wait for the Ahsoka show because uh, Ahsoka's like my favorite character. But like, that would have made, it would have invalidated Mandalorian as a show. It, it being like, nope, we're just going to use this show as a way to set up for that, which I think kind of was honestly a lot of the Book of Boba Fett. And like, that's a lot of the complaints with the Book of the Boba Fett was that it was mostly just Mandalorian, but now you have Boba Fett, which I personally don't dislike i mean that that's something i'm not terrible i mean i think i think boba fett deserves his own better his own stuff done better to be honest but back to back to the bed batch because that's the purpose of this video my boy tech uh -huh. my boy um basically I, I i i don't know i have mixed feelings about it because like a I really don't want him to be dead because oh my god he was like you know the best one and the best of us all and oh my god love him but at the same time I don't want them to ruin his character by ruining his sacrifice like his sacrifice meant a lot there like you know he's I mean that that's kind of a major theme in Star Wars is self-sacrifice and you know I'm, I'm gonna let my brothers you know live to fight another day while I sacrifice myself and freaking Sid oh my god freaking Sid who just sells him out anyway like come on Sid deserves to die for that one I'm sorry I said it I, I mean it she does anyway um but like you know he sacrificed himself so his brothers could live I feel like there's potential ways other ways he could have got, gotten out of it but like it was meaningful it was a meaningful sacrifice and like you know it was honorable and, and it was so beautiful and, and the way w that he said, like, you know, when have we ever followed orders? It's just, 
It's such a beautiful line. I don't know. I really liked it. I was emotionally destroyed for the next week, and that's why the drawing happened. Also, ignore what the drawing looks like. Um, this hand will not stay this way, I promise you, but for now it will because it was a pain, pain to actually draw that hand. I don't know. I feel like next season of The Bad Batch, I haven't even... I think the trailer has been released. I haven't seen it yet. Has there been a trailer? I think there's been a trailer. I haven't seen it yet. I kind of don't want to, to be honest. I want to just go into it. Like, trust me, Dave Filoni, you have all of my attention, okay? I will be watching that. I do not need to see the trailer to be invested in it. Like, I must see what happens next because my boy, you kill my boy. You can't do that to me. No, I think what would be really cool, what would be really cool is if, you know, Tech was, okay, so the reason why I don't think Tech is actually dead is his goggles, like, his goggles are the proof that they showed him, and I think, I think there's two ways they could have gone about this. First one, which is my personal fan theory, is that, you know, Tech survived, but, like, he knew that, you know, if he just laid there, t waited to be found, he would have been immediately executed on site, because he definitely would have been. So, like, he took off his goggles, threw them on the ground, and, like, stamped on them to crack them, and then ran off into the woods and is gonna have to find some other way to survive and get get a little uh, get off planet and go find his brothers again and i think i would really like that i think i think that's my favorite thing is that you know oh i don't know what he fell in snow right like you know what what if he just fell into a soft patch of snow like he could have gotten really lucky like i would not be opposed to them saying yeah no he just got lucky because like if he got lucky and he just did nothing then he would have died anyway because they would have come and killed him but like if he gets lucky and then and then he uses his you know super fried brain to survive and like make the most of his situation which he absolutely would then like obviously i don't know i feel like that's the best thing they could do for or maybe not the best thing but like one of the best things that they could do for it to make it not feel lazy um the other thing is if he was found and you know injured obviously because that was a pretty big fall um but like if, if he was found then i think you know what what if the what if the the cloning people were like okay well now we have two members of the bad batch we had one now we have two we're gonna hold on to him because obviously he's valuable but if the if the rest of the bad batch know that he's dead or know that he's there you know they're gonna try twice as hard to come find him because you know, while, yes, they were also going to go rescue Crosshair, they'd kind of given up on Crosshair, which I think is really tragic, because Crosshair is just, you're just having a rough time, okay? Um, but, like, and, and then Tech, like, they, 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 they developed Tech so much in this season, and, like, you know, clearly his brothers are going to care where he went, what happened to him, like, they're, like, they might have been able to give up on Crosshair, because, you know, he'd always been so cold and so cruel to them and like you know like because he kind of was like he disagreed he wasn't very you know he didn't play well which none of them played well but like crosshair didn't even play well with them and and this is nothing against crosshair obviously because crosshair's just so you know um anyways like but like they had went and they were they were considering like Staying on, well, I can't remember the planet's name. It's been too long since I, since, since since the things expired. But like they they were thinking about just stopping and like living on that planet and like you know settling in and staying on home. Um, and like they were just gonna leave Crosshair. Like Cross, they in their minds, Crosshair betrayed them, and you know that devastated them. Yes, but they had moved on from that. They accepted that. They were like, okay, well. We hate this, and we, we wish he didn't, but that this is the way things are. And then, but with Tech, like, Tech sacrificed himself for his brothers, and so if they knew that Tech was still alive, they would have absolutely gone in to save him, because, you know, that's just how they roll. And I think if they knew that both Tech and Crosshair were on the same planet together, that planet would no longer exist, because they would just destroy it. In, 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 while, while while successfully rescuing their boys. Anyway, so that that, that that those are my ideas. Is either you know, they they gave Hunter the goggles to be like, yeah, he's dead. 
you know, this is all we could find of him. Don't go looking for him in our facilities because, you know, they don't want him trying harder to go there. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they did bring him back and he was there and, you know, I would also not be opposed to that. Those are the kind of the two things that I wouldn't personally be opposed to. Um, I trust Dave Filoni to make the right call. And if the right call is, you know, having to live with my emotional devastation over my boy, then I think I can accept that because as tragic as it is, it was really beautiful and really meaningful and really powerful. And so I am I'm willing to accept it if it means that, you know, they're not just going to give him some lazy deuces machina. No, but he survived. Somehow tech has returned kind of thing because I mean, they've done it in the past and was not, you know, it just wasn't good. Like, yeah. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I have faith. I have faith in Dave Filoni. And if that means I have faith that I will be forever emotionally ruined by this, then that is something I'm willing to accept. Because, it, yeah, it, it, it just is. So, this is my little homage to my boy. And, and, and so I'm just going to let the rest of the video follow out. Um, you should leave a comment based on if you think Tech is still dead or how he survived or anything like that. And But I think I'm just going to let the rest of the video play. Um, it, it, if, if you think my art is good, then you should definitely consider subscribing. So, that's it. That's all for me. I'm going to go shut up now and let the rest of the video play out. I swear this time, and for real. Goodbye. Well, not actually goodbye yet, because the video is not actually over. It's time for the final reveal. Go enjoy the final reveal. Well, okay, in a second, it will be. I'm stalling. I, I'm i clearly a professional at this. So, yeah. Anyways, I, I think, I think, yeah, it's time for the final reveal. Cue intense music and such, and, and, and you should like and subscribe and comment and stuff because that helps me out with stuff, I guess. I don't know how this whole thing works. Anyways, yeah, bye for me for now.